Hey guys, I just received my 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops mail car. they in the house from Walgreens, from Target, from Walmart, and Amazon. They're rocking it. Let's do it. What's going on, Funko Pop fans and collectors of all ages? It's your girl, Miss Toy Diva, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel, Fat Toys. Yes, guys, this is part two of my San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive Funko Pop. This is my mail haul. As you guys seen at the beginning of the video, I have four awesome uh, boxes to show you. So what I did was I pre-cut these boxes because I heard horror stories about these pops being damaged. So I wanted to be uh, make sure that these pops were okay. And so far, so good. Out of the four boxes, all of my pops was good. So I'm going to start off with my first mail call, which was Target. Went into Target, boom, boom, boom. Got three, uh, three uh, pops and checked out easy. And that was Thursday afternoon about 5 o'clock. So I'm going to show you the, some of the pops that I picked up. I picked up the DC Superhero. This is 196 And it is Interplanetary Batman. Wow, let me tell you about this pop. I don't have that many pops, but I can tell you all the Batman pops that I have is pretty wicked. And this is awesome. A lot of fans are starting to really dig this pop. And I like how they have the cartoon in the background, like a little silhouette in the background of the cartoon. And that's really, really nice. And here's some Batman uh, pops that I... Uh, some of them I didn't miss the Target exclusive, unfortunately, I missed out on them. But again, this interplanetarian Batman has got it going on. I like how they uh, tinted the dome of his pop, and it really looks nice. That yellow tint just set it off. A lot of people think this is like an underwater pop, but it's not. This is like a spacesuit type, and you can see where he has his oxygen tube. And what is so cool, guess what? It's connected to his utility belt, so he's getting oxygen from that. So this is, came out really nice, nice metallic silver, and it's a really nice pop, and it's really starting to pick up, in, uh, uh, and, and people really, really like this pop. So hopefully Target still has it. I haven't checked since I had ordered these pops, but I am so happy that I was able to get them. Like I said, Target was easy. Thursday afternoon, 5 o'clock, went on there, and I was done, and no problem, no lag, no nothing. Uh, the next pop I picked up was from the Star Wars Rogue One. This is 183, and it is Bodhi. Yes, really nice pop. Now, honestly, I can tell you, this pop could have been a really a basic pop, but, of course, they made it a, a Comic-Con pop, and, of course, the Combat Assault Tank Trooper, that is a Walmart exclusive. You got Young Jane Erso, you got Galen, and a lot of these awesome. I, I want to see this Death Star droid, the white droid. Of course, might be an exclusive or the black droid, who knows. But again, this could have been a regular pop, but they made it a Comic Con exclusive. It even could have been a Target exclusive pop, but I like this one. and got the goggles on there and everything, but uh, I figure, you know what? I'm going to add them to my collection because I'm not sure. Once the movie come out and all the uh, exp uh, merchandise come out, are they going to have a Bodhi Pop or, or not? So I wanted to make sure I got them. The next one I picked up, I don't know about this uh, TV show, but it's the Westworld number 491. And it is Young Ford. I picked this pop up because it was unique. I like how they have his like his robot face and all that. So I said, let me pick this pop up. I never seen this show before, but <laughs> it's like it's unique pops, and I do I pick up unique pops from time to time to add it to my collection to make my collection uh, even greater than I think it is. So. Uh, this is a, a, a pop that was interesting, was unique, and I like how his his face is showing where it's like a robot face and he has his little walking stick. So, again, this pop was uh, on my list, and I'm like, you know what, I'm picking him up. He's popular, and believe it or not, uh, collectors and fans really dig this, this series. So, uh, three awesome pops from Target, and now I'm going to show you some pop from Amazon. The next pop, I'm going to tell you, I did not think I was going to be able to get this pop. I actually pre-ordered this pop on Wednesday night about 10 or 11 o'clock. And I went to Amazon and it was two pops that were offered. They offered Hee Hee. I passed on Hee Hee because Hee Hee ran about $15. But 
for five dollars more, you can get a Star Wars pop. Not only is a Star Wars pop, a six-inch pop, a glow-in-the-dark pop of a new character for twenty-dollar bills, y'all. And I was like, you couldn't pass on it. And you know, guys, if you've seen this pop, it is the bomb. And let's give it up for Supreme Leader Snoke. This is 182, and here it comes. Bam! Oh my goodness! Wow! A six-inch pop is in the house. He's on his throne, glow in the dark. Star Wars, you cannot beat that at all. Nice box, and believe it or not, this bad boy came in pristine condition. Now, normally, for the next two, three boxes, me and my nephew, uh, we went in half because he wanted some of these pops. And I'm like, I got that, that plastic uh, money, so he said he wants to get in on it. Really awesome, six-inch pop, glow in the dark. So he is a out-of-box collector. So uh, I, I'm going to use his pop to show you. And here is Supreme Leader Snoke. We all want to know who this bad boy is. Some of us have ideas. But look at Supreme Leader Snoke. If you are a new fan to Pops, uh, Pops and uh, are bobbleheads from Star Wars and even Marvel are bobbleheads. But it doesn't bother me because this is a... I'm, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on his face, the detail. Even though this bad boy glows in the dark, look at the scars in the face and his eyes. And I like how they have two different tones of blues uh, for his uh, his robe and all that. And, and of course, his, his big chair that he's sitting in. Really, really nice. I'm going to go around slowly so you guys can get the detail of this pop. Look at the two-tone of the blues. Really, really nice. I am so happy that I was able to thank you, Amazon, for pre-ordering this bad boy because it came out really, really nice. Even with it, he has his nails, as you can see, the nails in his hands, and of course his other hands is in the fist. But again, with the details, even though it's a bobblehead, as you can see underneath, the detail on his face, wow, it came out really, really nice. Now, of course, Star Wars... Pops, not only are they bobbleheads, they come with these stands, which you can see the stand is square off. And actually, you can take this stand off. It has a four, uh, four uh, uh, peg holes right there, so that's pretty dope. I mean, but I like the stand, so I'm going to keep this stand on this one because it came out really, really, really nice. Like I said, my nephew's an out-of-box collector, so he's digging it. He's digging this pop. He can't wait. Uh, to get it but this is a great pop thank you amazon for you know setting this pop up that we was able to pre-order the next mail order i'm going to show you is from walgreens walgreens offered two uh san diego comic-con pops were actually were repaints one was captain america it's supposed to be bucky cap but i have a lot of captain americas and even though it was a repaint it just didn't really do anything for me all they did was painted the pants black if it was in a new mode i probably would have picked them up even the box has just had captain america on it didn't even have bucky cap but i did pick up another pop that they offered and it is the red she hawk number 231 and here she is Boom. Yes. I don't even own a regular She-Hawk. I never picked her up. I even if there's a another glow in the dark She-Hawk that was a Comic-Con uh, Kamikaze exclusive. Never picked her up, but for this one, had to pick it up because this pop looks amazing. It's the top box art. Right. This pop looks really really nice. And I said, I'm going to pick her up. I do have a Marvel a Legends of uh, Red She-Hawk. And uh, that, pop, that that figure is amazing. So, had to pick this one. Of course, you got like in the Marvels. Marvel has some nice pops. You have Spider. You got Spider-Gwen, regular She-Hawk, Captain Marvel. I do own a Doctor Strange, a Doctor Octopus, and, and Falcon. I do own those three pops. But I had to pick this one up. Like I said, even though she is a repaint, she looks sick. Now, again, thanks to my nephew being out of box collector, I was able, I'm going to be able to show you this pop, and here she is. Bazal, look at that. Love this paint apps. Everything about this pop. Nice crimson red. Look at her eyes with her eyelashes, and I'm glad they didn't make it white. They, they painted, her, painted her eyes yellow. So that sets it off with the blacks and the, the purples on her jumpsuit. Really, really nice. I'm going to 
turn this around. She is top heavy. Her head is really heavy. Again, she's marble. She has a bobble head, but the head is really heavy. I'm surprised that they didn't um, give her a stand, so uh, hopefully she won't tip over, but she is very top heavy because of her head and, of course, her bobble head, but this is dope. All I can say is thank you. Even though it's a repaint, this came out really, really nice with this crimson red and her eye sets it off and being yellow. Came out really nice. That's why I said I'm going to pick her up. And uh, she's still available, Captain uh, Bucky Cap or Captain America. He's still available as well. I mean, Walgreens finally is getting the picture because last year when I tried to get that Green Goblin, I'm going to tell you, it lasted for a couple of seconds. and They never restocked on that one. So this one, I'm glad they were bringing it to the house and they ordered a lot uh, that you could still be able to get them both. But this came out really, really nice, this Red Sheik Hawk. And um, guys, I'm telling you, Add it to your collection because I'm thinking once she's gone, she's gone. That's a great pop. I, <laughs> I really, really dig her. And guys and ladies, the last pop I'm going to show you is from Walmart. I shared exclusive from Walmart. And when I tell you, I did not think I was going to get this pop. This is a popular pop in the community. Everybody, their mother and their cousin want this pop. And it continues to sell out. It is from Nickelodeon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 507. Here he comes. Baxter Stockman. Yes. Finally was able to get this pop from Walmart. And man, oh man, oh my goodness. This pop is dope looking. Here's the box. Here's the side art. Woo. Did not think I was going to be able to get this one. It was shaky for a minute. All the turtles in this wave and everybody else. This was shaky. You hear me? I was shaking in my boots. Didn't think I was going to be able to get this bad boy. But Walmart came through, let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Sold out so many times. But I have to tell you, Walmart brought it to the house because they kept restocking this bad boy. And the fact that I have my one for the, my nephew, I'm going to show you out of box. And here he is right here. Oh, sick. Look at that. He is dope looking like the red eyes the detail of this bad boy look at the forearms and check this out wait to the and i like how they got the, the bow tie at the top of it baxter stockman is very very popular sold out so many times look at the wings in the back came out really really decent wow honestly i wish these pops were articulated of course the head moves you know left and right but i really wish funko will make a series with articulated, uh, you know, wrists and hands or something. Uh, that's not just for the head. But let me tell you, Walmart has brought it to the house because this pop sold out so fast on, on Wednesday night going into Thursday. But you know what? Walmart got it going on because they restocked over and over and over again. Soon as this sold out, it came up, it came up like, I think, Friday night, I have actually got this one, I believe. Friday going into Saturday, 3 o'clock in the morning. Went to Walmart.com, and let me tell you, it was up. By the time I checked out on my cart, went back, it was sold out. But it constantly, constantly, they restocked. It came back in. This pop had to restock between 8 to 10 times. So they were bringing it, and as soon as it came in, people were snatching it up because I actually went on to when it said for quantity and I clicked on it and you could order as many as 10 that's why I was selling out so fast but I was able to get this one of course to my nephews and oh my goodness right now he is sold out and I think right now and I think uh, somebody else is selling on Walmart and he's going for about a good $30 but this is an awesome pop. I'm a big fan of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he is popular, and I see why. So happy, Walmart, you brought it to the house, because last year, uh, I had ordered a, a um, Five Nights at Freddy, Golden Freddy, and they had canceled the orders, but it finally came back in. But I said, Walmart, said they're not going to do that this time. You know, listening to the community, and they brought it to the house. And I'm hoping that you guys and ladies was able to get your, your pop. Now, and there is a glow-in-the-dark version, but I don't think that's going to hit the United States. So, I mean, he's going for quite a bit, but I'm happy with the regular one. So, guys and ladies, there you have it. 
There you go, my mail haul from Walmart, from Walgreens, from Amazon and Target. And I have to tell you, this mail haul was this easy. It was pretty easy. You know, you have to be patient. I mean, you, you got to wait. I mean, good things come to those who wait. And I waited and I was patient. And I'm just glad to be able to get these pops. Again, I, this is the second video. I have a first video. And guys, I'm going to put that video link at the end of this video. You can click on it for my, of course, my uh, other uh, 2017 San Diego Comic Con pops that I picked up uh, in, in or the stores from Barnes and Noble from GameStop and Toys R Us, but so happy that I was able to get these bad boys. Didn't think I was going to get any of them to tell you the truth. Pretty easy. So again, be patient. And some of these are still offered. Like I believe, back to stop it might be sold out. But try Target if you want to get the Inter uh, Planetarium Batman or the Bodie. I uh, think uh, the Red She Hawk is still up for order at a Walgreens with the Captain America. I think the Supreme Leader uh, Snoke, he sold out and he restocked, but I think he sold out again. But hopefully you can get them all. I am waiting <laughs> patiently for Toys R Us to hopefully bring the uh, Rick and Morty uh, Tinkles Ghost in the Jar because I refuse to order from that website because Toys R Us destroy your merchandise. I think the workers are angry and I said I'm not going to even waste my money and trying to because every video that I watched Tinkles was tore up from the floor up and I said no way in the world but I said, you know, I might can't get Tinkles, but I just got a confirmation from my comic shop that they will be getting in the Power Rangers 6-inch Megazord. Now, my Power Ranger, <laughs> uh, my comic shop actually uh, ordered from Diamond Comics. So even though he told me the sticker won't have a San Diego Comic-Con sticker, I'm not worried about that. I just want that Megazord pop. And he confirmed that they're going to get it in within a week or two. So as soon as he get that in, I'm going to make another video with any of the uh, exclusive pops that I picked up over in the wild over the last couple of weeks. So, guys, and ladies, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And feel free to subscribe to get my latest and newest videos. Please share this with the video with your family and friends. And I hope you guys got everything that you was looking for. San Diego Comic Con 2017 is, has came and gone, and I have conquered, and I can't wait for this New York Comic Con. That's coming up. Uh, the, of course, the Star Wars uh, uh, new figures of the fourth Friday in September, that's coming up. Uh, more videos, of course. We're going to have a Matchbox slash Hot Wheels uh, together again for the second time. I'm going to have a toy haul, not just only any toy haul, my birthday toy haul. Comic books, action figures, so much more. So keep locked in, stay tuned for more uh, toy videos. This is your girl, Miss Toy Diva. Can you dig it? Can you dig these awesome 2017 San Diego Comic Con convention pops? Mail call in the house. Yes, I can. They are what? Dope of five. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Enjoy your day. And I will see you all on my next video.